What are you doing? I'm just saying hello to Mr. Chopper. Well, I don't think you need a screwdriver to say hello, Nate. I've always wanted one of these. Well, just leave it, will you, Nate? Shut up, Zane. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, I can't believe how boring you are these days. Hey! What's going on here? You're mad because I'm late. The boy's a genius. Did anyone ever tell you you're cute when you're mad? I got you this. What is it? Open it. Zane, I can't accept this. Uh, yes, you can. Look, I even made up a playlist for you. Here, listen. Seriously, Zane. Take it back and get a recast. No can do. You can't return the monster engraved. You got it engraved. Shut up and take the gift. If I take this, it'll mean we're, you know, a couple. Or we could just be friends. Right, friends. Friends who go on dates and kiss sometimes. No, look, seriously, take the gift, no strings attached, really. But... Repeat after me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is me. So I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't I get to come in? What for? Well, you've met my dad. I wouldn't mind meeting yours. Um, let's do that another day. Why? I'm here now. Yeah, but my dad's not. He's probably still at the office. But thank you for walking me and thank you for the gift. Isn't that worth another kiss? Ah, no strings attached, remember? How could I forget? See you tomorrow. Nice place, by the way. Thanks. Don't yeah, I understand, all right, sunshine. I've been working on this bike for months. Now, clear off before I call the coppers. Look, mate, you've got this all wrong. If I wanted a piece of junk like this old thing, I'd buy one. A new one. Yeah, that'd be right. Sport little brat, that's what you are. Take your stupid badge. The whole bike belongs to the wreckers anyway. Yeah, don't come back. I might have to teach you some manners. Loser. You all right, sweetheart? Yeah, Dad. Fine. Well, where's that beautiful smile your mum gave you? That's better. I tell you, if that kid who vandalised Selma ever shows his face around here again... <sighs> Just really glad that you don't hang around snobs like that, sweetheart. Ricky, wait. Could you hold on a second? I'm in a hurry. What's with the attitude? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, people. What's happening? Hey, Lewis. Yeah. Right, well, uh, I'll see you later. See ya. see ya. So what have I done? Nothing. But you can have this back. No, what's up with you? Take it, Zane. I don't want your stupid expensive gift. But... Just leave me alone. Yes? Is Ricky home? Who? You must be Ricky's dad. Must I? 
I'm, uh, I I'm Zane, a friend of Ricky's. Is she here? Look, there's no Ricky at this address. Sorry. I've been working on that for nearly a year and I still can't get it started. Coffee? No, you don't have to wait on me, Ricky. But, since you're offering... Thanks, love. <sighs> hey, sweetheart, I've been thinking. You know you're welcome to bring your friends around here any time, don't you? Yeah, of course. Um, it's not exactly the Ritz, but... Uh... Dow. Little old dad. <laughs> you, me and Thelma. Exactly how I like oh. it. Ricky. Not now. What's going on with you? What are you talking about? But you're being weird. You're weird all the time. I know you don't live where you said you lived. Well, what, so you're stalking me now? Have I done something to make you mad? Leave it alone, Zane. No, no Zane! We need to talk about this. No, we don't. Ricky would make the same mistake twice. Maybe she doesn't see Zane as a mistake. Speak of the devil. Zane. Hi, guys. I'm worried about Ricky. Did something happen? The details aren't important, but she took off in the water. You know. Fish style. Can you just find Ricky and make sure she's okay? Don't go all tough guy on us, Ricky. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Zayn said... You spoke to Zayn. He was really worried about you. We're just so, so, so different. It doesn't matter if you're different. But if you can't be yourself around him, then you've got the problem. I'm sorry that you find it so hard to let people in. So I get it now. No more pushing. I'll leave you alone if that's what you want. Fine. You want to know all about me? Fine. where I live. And that guy you abused yesterday, that's my dad. Your dad? That piece of junk you vandalised just for fun, that's his bike. I didn't do anything to the bike, it was Nate. Whatever. You've got the perfect excuse not to be interested in me now, so just go. Ricky, wait. that you live here.
why do you find it so hard to believe that someone could be interested in you? I mean, regardless of where you live, Ricky. I like you. I mean, I... I really like you. Really? What the blazes are you doing? Mr. Chappie, Dad, explain. quiet, Ricky. Dad, please, it's a misunderstanding. I said quiet. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't want the likes of you anywhere near my daughter. So you get lost and don't ever come back. Now! Well, I thought you had better taste, Ricky. But now. So in love smile or your it's great to be single smile? Uh, I'm thinking it's the first one. I don't suppose you guys are hungry? It's all in the touch. Hello, boy. Hi, Ricky. Hey, Ricky. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming. It's all right. This is my place. Uh, make yourself at home, please. 